Welcome, everyone, to Shine Your Mojo Sunday, where we meet each and every week at 9 o'clock for 15 minutes of that B12 shot so that we focus on what we truly want for the upcoming week. We plant seeds to have a phenomenal, successful, and extraordinary week, and it all starts right here, right now. I am Wendy Blum, and I am a success and strategy coach that is passionate about helping men and women from around the globe tap into their infinite power and unleash their brilliance, your brilliance, to live a life you love right here and right now. And so each and every week we come together in this way because at the end of the weekend, that's when our mood starts to become somber and we start to think thoughts like, I can't believe Monday is already going to be here right around the corner tomorrow morning. I have so much to do. And so our mood starts to change or we're not even aware of it because it's in our subconscious mind, and it's those secret thoughts that matter most. So when you plant seeds about what you want to experience, how you want to feel, what you want to achieve, right before you go to sleep at night, that's when you imprint deep into the subconscious mind. So planting the seeds on Sunday night for the upcoming week, setting an intention around the upcoming week, setting an intention from your heart, and then aligning the subconscious mind with the conscious mind and really being focused on what you really want. And we theme these calls each and every week because what happens is when we have so much that we want to do, that we want to accomplish, that we want to focus on, that we go into overwhelm. And let's face it, these days we're being pulled in so many different directions. Between social media, between the cell phone, between email, we are all running on full cylinders all of the time. And so here we just focus on just one thing and hone in all of our energy, direct all of our focus towards that one thing. And this week, it's our focus is on being in the groove and how to get our groove, our groovy back when we feel off kiltered. We all have those days where we wake up and we just feel a little off. And so there are techniques and tools that we can use to change the dial because at the end of the day, we're all energy. And so it's what we feel. It's that energy that you feel when you walk into a room and knowing how to shift that energy when your energy is feeling a little sluggish or a little off. And there's so much out there. There's so much buzz around positive thinking And so you can decide to think positive, but, you know, we're all human and we're going to wake up and we're going to be tired. We're going to be exhausted. We would have been up the night before and have a lot on our mind. And so that being the real deal, the way life happens, how do we recalibrate each and every day so that when we're feeling a shift in our energy and we feel lethargic or a little bit down, how can we take the dial and actually make the change? That's what we're going to talk about tonight. So thinking about a groove, when we think about the subconscious mind, we have these grooves, these patterns and these loops and these ways that we think that create these pathways in our brain. So in creating these new grooves, these feel-good grooves, so we're going to start by taking the word groove and breaking it down with the word G being the word good, feeling good, to actually take an assessment so that we have an awareness, that you have an awareness about how you feel, so that you ask yourself that question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do I feel right now? With 10 being I feel amazing, and with 2 being that I don't feel so good. And knowing that it's okay to have those days where you feel like a 2 or a 3, and then just making 
a decision to feel better. The R being receptive to even know what you're feeling so that you can make the shift and do it with intention. The O being the opportunity to make the change. Just having the awareness and being able to shift your energy is the key to success in your life. To be able to step back and be the observer, to know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Because when you do, you know, first giving yourself permission that it's okay. Whatever you're feeling is okay. We can't have good without feeling not so good. We can't have light without dark. So that's just the way life is. So in order to have good, we have to have days that aren't so good. It's like having a sunny day every single solitary day. We wouldn't be able to appreciate a sunny day, but after it rains and then we have a sunny day, then we really appreciate the sunshine and how beautiful it is outside. So when we don't feel so good or at our best, and then we feel better, then we can really appreciate how we feel. So it's okay in being able to accept where you are and then to take steps to feel better. And the V being the vibration, because every one of our thoughts, and especially our feelings, create a vibration like a magnet that attracts something of a similar vibration, so something of a similar feeling back into our experience. And that's why it's so important that if we don't feel so great, that we set the goal first to feel better. Because if we stay in that state of feeling down or blue or lethargic, that's what we're going to attract more of in our lives things that have a similar vibration, the same feeling attached to it because the E, everything in our lives is energy. So what do we do when we're having a day when we feel a little off? And that's why we have these calls on Sunday nights so that we can set the tone to feel really good for the upcoming week. And so first to know that each and every person, you know, the power of positive thinking, that's great to be able to shift the thoughts, to create the new feelings. But the baseline, that's going to be anything across the board. And so when you're feeling a feeling of doubt or fear or frustration or loneliness, start to creep in. The minute you start to feel it coming on, that's when you take action. And let's say you just get off the phone with somebody and you feel blah or you feel upset. You immediately can stop what you're doing and readjusting your thoughts, your mindset, with an affirmation or sitting in silence and releasing and letting go of that feeling. So using a visualization tool like the conversation or the person, closing your eyes and then lifting up your arm and seeing a balloon and allow the feeling to float away as you let go of the string of the balloon floating upward into the sky setting the intention to release the feeling around the experience or the conversation. And then you check in. How do I feel right now? And if you still rate yourself for two or three or four, then you can layer on some other techniques until you can raise your vibration and shift 
your energy and change your mood. Elevate your mood. Taking out a pen and writing down five things that you're grateful for. A universal law that when you're grateful for what you already have, then you attract more to be grateful for. And just feeling that energy, it immediately shifts our perspective from what we don't have or what just happened to what we do have and how blessed we truly are. Just focusing on things, even when you're having one of those really rough days, Focusing on things like I have five fingers and five toes and I just had a pretty good cup of coffee and you know, I wake up safe and sound in my home. Thinking of the little things and focusing on what you do have, what you are grateful for. And then secondly, closing your eyes. And, of course, you can't do this unless, uh, you know, you're sitting at your desk at work or you're at home. But just closing your eyes just for a brief moment and going to your favorite sacred space and just being there even for a brief moment, whether that is remembering a walk on the beach or spending time with a friend, a child, your pet, something that makes you feel good. The memory, the thought brings back that feeling. And then lastly, and sometimes when you're really having an off day, you really want to layer all this. You'll, you'll write out your gratitude list and you'll close your eyes and maybe you can get to that sacred space or maybe you just can't get there at that time. Then it's about doing something for somebody else. And it could be a simple as paying the toll for somebody behind you or buying somebody at the drive through at Starbucks a cup of coffee in the car behind you as you just drive off knowing that you did something good for somebody else that's going to make them smile because the giver actually receives as much or more as the person that actually receives whatever it was that you did or gave to the other. So it's the giver. So that is how we shift the energy if our energy starts to get a little off during the week in setting an intention that whenever you feel something, something that comes up that's a challenge, to just know in your heart first that you can shift the energy, having the desire to shift the energy, taking an assessment, asking, how do I feel right now? And then taking immediate action to shift the energy. And so when you practice and you do this more and more, then you stay in that zone for shorter periods of time. And that's how you shift your energy to stay into that positive zone where you're going to attract more goodness and more success and more love and peace into your life today, every day, going forward. I I wish each and every one of you much, much success this week. Look forward to connecting with you again next Sunday for Shine Your Mojo Sunday. Thanks, everyone. Have a fantastic week.